In this case study, you are the instructor teaching grade 10 academic science in an online course. Meet Jenny. Jenny is one of your students. She is 16 years old from Toronto, Ontario and has taken all of her high school credits online so far. She is an elite athlete with an intense training schedule as she is training for the Olympics as a gymnast. Jenny's training does not allow her to attend school full-time, so she has opted to take classes online. Her gymnastics competitions and training are her number one priority, but her parents still want her to complete her high school diploma, so she has been doing so part-time. While communicating with Jenny, she tells you that she completes a lot of her coursework while traveling to competitions, but gets car sick if she reads a book in the car or on the bus. Jenny loves English, history, and anything artistic, but grade 10 science is a mandatory credit for a high school diploma. She took the prerequisite grade 9 science two years ago and has not looked at the content since then. Two other girls from her gymnastics team are also taking the course and they can work through the lessons together if needed. As previously mentioned, Grade 10 Science is a compulsory credit for students to graduate with their Ontario Secondary School Diploma. The curriculum breaks the course into five units and the third one is titled Unit C, Chemistry, Chemical Reactions. The specific expectation you are covering in this lesson is expectation C3.4 that states students will learn how to write word equations and balanced chemical equations for simple chemical reactions. So, our learning objective says that by the end of this lesson, students will be able to apply their knowledge to balance a chemical equation. Just for some context, this is an example of a balanced chemical equation. A balanced chemical equation has an equal number of atoms of each element on either side of the arrow. So students will use their knowledge of the periodic table and simple mathematics to complete this task. To teach the content, there is a step-by-step -step guide in PDF format that students read through to learn how to balance a chemical equation. The guide provides several examples, increasing in difficulty as they go along, and is very organized to help students recognize the different steps. It is color-coded, chunked into different sections, and many of your previous students have given you feedback that they have found this guide to be very helpful to refer to while working through questions on their own. To become masterful at balancing chemical equations, students typically have to work through a lot of practice questions so that they get quicker and more efficient at solving these problems. So the second part of the lesson is a set of practice questions that are provided as a worksheet in which students write or type in their answer and submit it to their instructor for feedback. Many UDL guidelines are not accounted for in this case study, including recruiting interest, physical action, perception, comprehension, and language and symbols. I will now leave you with three questions. What barriers are present in Jenny's situation that may prevent her from reaching the learning objective? How can you support Jenny as she re-engages in science? And are there any ways the lesson materials or delivery can be altered to meet UDL guidelines? I look forward to hearing your solutions and feedback.